we have next uh, author uh, Tan Xu Xu and Zai Wang presenting their paper management of optimized knowledge diffusion and creation of in organizational structure social network so good morning uh, I'm Jay Wan and this is uh, basically a project uh, have been conducted by uh, my student and myself basically we try to really uh, build a microscopic model that can link different level of uh, individuals organizations together to discuss the evolution of knowledge so basically we call it modeling knowledge evolution in organizations so first we will give a very short introduction then we will provide a knowledge representation model at the individual level and at the organizational uh, social network level next we will talk about knowledge evolution basically we will by evolution so we means really two things one is the diffusion another one is the creation then after we describe in we describe the uh, knowledge evolution model then we we'll talk about how do we really optimally manage the knowledge basically the knowledge evolutions inside the uh, organization then we also provide some numerical uh, examples and finally we give a summarization so knowledge evolutions uh, including diffusion and creations is uh, very important for organizations for their innovations and for their sustainable operations and knowledge management basically here we really means that it can <coughs> enable the efficient knowledge evolution in organizations and the uh, the evolution here as we said before include diffusion and creations and we will give a more uh, detailed definition later then knowledge evolution is complex and stochastic because uh, usually we don't really know especially at the different levels at the individual level and also at the uh, organization level so we don't really know um, a prior how it will really evolve or how it will be better developed and so many studies have been uh, carried out uh, on describing the knowledge evolutions and also on developing knowledge management strategies so basically there are two groups of uh, uh, studies one is very qualitative but they are uh, empirically based and also they have all the different kind of descriptions uh, they have a lot of like kind of like rhetoric uh, kind of uh, uh, descriptions so they talk about different kind of like scale or different kind of uh, uh, process sometimes they talk about the personal level and sometimes they talk about in uh, organization levels but and also the connections from the personal levels to the individual level to the organization level are mostly descriptive the discussions and also based on empirical studies so this is one group of like thought mainly in the management science I mean uh, organizational science and also uh, decision-making kind of literature basically in uh, school of management they uh, do this kind of uh, uh, research on the other side we also have a quantitative kind of like research basically we, we use social network and also we use different kind of ontology try to map the different kind of uh, knowledge but the sense is uh, for the quantitative model it's mainly it's uh, although it's systematic but it's focused mostly on some local features either at the individual level or at the organization level so now we see a gap I mean so we have a very general and a very comprehensive studies in the management science or management uh, kind of like organizational science and also on the other side uh, very systematic quantitative and detailed simulations and uh, uh, models but the gap is how do we really link all this very detailed model to this very general model at different levels different levels I will really talk about uh, uh, here is the motivation for, for our 
presentation, basically. We try to develop a microscopic quantitative model to describe and model the knowledge evolution through the uh, interaction. Basically, we try, what we try to do is we try to model first uh, individual level knowledge representation. Then let all the different kind of individuals uh, interact with each other. Then create uh, basically a networked model for the organization. And then we can talk about at the organization level how this knowledge can, the, it, both the individual knowledge and the overall knowledge can evolve. So uh, after we create this model, then there's a way for us to really optimizely to manage the evolution of model. I'm sorry, manage the evolution of the knowledge so that the organization will have a very clear goal to see if we really want to create more knowledge or if we, we want our employees to really mostly more efficiently share our knowledge. So basically, uh, we developed two models. First, we developed individual models uh, for knowledge re uh, representation. Of course, so we understand for these complex issues, the best way actually to use a very complicated ontology to comprehensively organize all the knowledge of individual. But here, uh, uh, to simplify the problems, we used weighted tree to really represent individual knowledge on one side. Then at the organizational side, for the social network, we use actually also, ideally it will be a very complicated ontological problems, but we use a simple uh, weighted graph to really represent the organizational structure and also the potential interactions possible within this uh, structure. So basically, so this is the uh, knowledge tree for the individual. So basically we can see, so uh, actually we use a perfect tree to really represent the best a person can really have as a knowledge kind of uh, uh, like uh, uh, sources. Basically, you can, we can see that they have all different kind of like uh, uh, different kind of like uh, uh, part of the knowledge and we uh, structure it in the tree, weighted tree. Weighted tree because we need to also not just to, mo uh, to, to model the knowledge itself, but also to mo model your understanding of the knowledge. So that's the, basically the darker it is, it really means the more understanding this individual ha uh, has for this knowledge. So basically it has the knowledge structure and also your understanding, the individual's understanding of the knowledge in this uh, individual knowledge representations. So that's basically uh, all the more details. I'm, I'm not going to, you can all find it in the paper. And then for the organizational model, basically we use a uh, 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 undirected graph. It's also weighted because we, we basically try to uh, organize this in the hierarchical. So this is basically the top line manager. This is the, the ones behind this manager and also this workers behind uh, this like uh, uh, the middle layer manager. So what we try to do here is for each person, we actually give authority rank. The first authority, uh, the ones with the smaller authority rank means it's uh, more important for this organization. And this is uh, uh, sort of like uh, less important because uh, this is uh, this, the, the top manager makes most of the most important decisions. In this way, we try to really model uh, to some degree the hierarchical uh, like authority structure of the organization. And then this hierarchical authority structure is transferred into this uh, graph. And also you can see in, in this graph, it's not just the authority structure, like this tree's uh, authority hierarchical structure. Also we have uh, uh, ties between individual person. So that's actually we call the social ties. And also for the social ties, you can see it has the thickness. So the thicker the social ties really means the more closely this person are related. So in this way, we now have a model both of the individual knowledge and of the organization. Then we talk about the uh, organizational knowledge tree. Uh, we can talk about like, uh, like two people, we can uh, like one manager and one uh, is uh, uh, like a worker. They work together and can create a new knowledge. But all, how to create all this new 
like I can buy the knowledge. It's all uh, like uh, this because of time limitation. I'm not going to, to, to talk too much. Basically, we can find it all in paper. So basically, we now talk about the, uh, the evolution. Evolution basically include two things. One is the diffusion and one is the creation. And in the creation itself, we use a different kind of creation. One is really create new knowledge. Another one is actually create existing knowledge, but in a more in more depths. So basically, we, uh, it's uh, in the uh, management uh, kind of uh, uh, domain. There's uh, two kind of things. One is called exploration, and one is called, called exploitation. So basically, we model creations through either exploration or exploitations. And so all these details about, uh, first we talk about uh, knowledge diffusion. Basic diffusion is uh, basic, it's, uh, it's a process that some people inside the uh, organization has the knowledge, and he wants to really transfer this knowledge to other peoples. In this process, no new knowledge is created. Only talk about, we only talk about uh, transfer, basically, knowledge. So there's different kind of ways you can do it. So the complexity of this sense is, although we already manage the individual level knowledge representation and also the uh, organizational level uh, like uh, uh, structure of the interactions, but also at individual levels, it's more complicated because each person has its own personality. For example, some people can really study very quickly and learn very quickly, and some people are really very social, some people are not. But all this like a social uh, kind of like a capability and also learning capability also impact the rate of the knowledge diffusion and the knowledge creations for individuals and therefore for the whole organizations. So that we can see, I mean, now we talk about the knowledge creation ex exploitation case, and then we talk about, uh, then also we talk about the uh, exploration case. So the different cases we have to uh, consider. At the three levels now, at the personality level, then upscale to the not personal knowledge level, then upscale to the organizational knowledge level. So that's really the complexity. So now, to this moment, we already create the knowledge tree for the uh, personal and also the organizational uh, social network uh, work for the uh, organization. And also we talk about how we can create diffusion and the creation of the knowledge. Then the next step is basically we need to optimally manage the evolution of knowledge inside uh, organizations. So this is the uh, basically the uh, a systematic uh, net, uh, I mean, framework we use uh, uh, Markov for decision process to really model the uh, knowledge evolution problems because since we already defined all the states, action, and with uh, objective functions, so we can now definitely talk about the evolution, optimally, uh, uh, the optimally evolve of the knowledge inside an organization. And so these are more basically definitions and also the optimization problems, uh, the formulations. And this one, because time limitations, so we can look at the paper. Uh, so this is basically the dynamic process. And also, we use uh, dynamic uh, uh, programming the solver to solve the uh, Mykov uh, uh, decision process. So that's all standard. I'm not going to reiterate. So the, the big problem is the computational is issue. Basically, it's a very heavily, I mean, it's computationally involved. So you can see all different kind of like a wizard, uh, uh, even a very limited node of personal like knowledge and a very very reasonable a uh, small like social network the actually the possible actions and the states and also the evolution of these states are huge are tremendous so that's why we have to really design a more effective algorithm for that so uh, we give some uh, numerical uh, setups uh, uh, basically also uh, numerical examples one I think is for the diffusion and so basically we have a two, we have actually three people, one supervisor and two workers. But these two workers have different kind of personality. For example, like this one have a, can study very well, but uh, uh, does not that sociable, for example. This one is uh, like a, 
uh, does not really like to uh, study too much, but can social very well. Under this kind of situation, one supervisor tried to transfer his knowledge to these two peoples, and they have different kind of like uh, result. And through this uh, uh, like evolutions, uh, we can see. So that's a kind of uh, interesting result. So basically, what it really means is that this is the actually the uh, tie the uh, the social connection of the uh, supervisor to this uh, work one is sort of like uh, for and work two in this case are the same one one and for this case it's different because this is like a less uh, connect to these people but more connected to that people so that is this case and also the other ones is the the uh, green one is uh, the opposite so a very close relationship with the uh, work one but relatively weak connections with work two but work one and work two also have different kind of like uh, social like uh, personalities and also learning capabilities they have, they're different so we can see so in this case we have a lot of like for the evolution of knowledge during this kind of like a uh, uh, knowledge diffusion process it's jumps so all, all these things really talk about different kind of state either by like uh, uh, direct transfer or but also in our model we also build some complexity of like until to a certain degree of uh, kind of like a uh, social kind of uh, connection, uh, the strength of the social connection, they cannot really transfer. So in this case, uh, you, uh, we can see that for different kind of people with different kind of personality, they have quite different kind of like uh, knowledge diffusion kind of like properties. And also the effectiveness of the knowledge transfer, so this is the best, also for this three cases are quite different. And also asymmetric. So then uh, also, as we said, we, because we have three levels, now all these personal characteristics also reflected in this model. So we can see this, uh, like some person uh, have very good uh, learning capabilities, but less good social capabilities. So at the beginning, we can see actually this learning capability really means much more than uh, for individual person. But when each individual person all have very good learning capabilities, then the social capabilities really matters. So this one is basically the best, right, for the learning. So that's kind of like asymmetric, uh, very interesting. So basically these are the, uh, the, and the creation, we have the same kind of sentence. But basically what we want to, uh, to introduce is basic a systematic microscopic framework that really can link the different level of uh, process. And then together they can really have uh, optimized the management for the uh, uh, for organizational knowledge evolution. Thank you very much.